I first met Seo at Glenview Soccer, my first year I played travel. He was my coach that year. It was um, at the soccer camp before the season started. So I really got to talk to him and work with him there. And that was about a year before I played at his club, Mirage. I think the fact that the club was small made it a lot better. Um, as, they called Glen, or as they called Mirage, it was the North Shore's best, best kept soccer secret um, because not very many people played. And I like how the people that did play were brought into the club from the kids who already were on the team. So I know that he played uh, soccer in the former Yugoslavia, and so did his brother. And after soccer, he also had a life as a businessman. Um, the other thing I know about Sale's previous life is that he was an excellent fisherman in his country, and he seems to be almost as well known for his fishing skills as his soccer skills, which is saying a lot but that he was injured in the, the conflict there, that he was shot eight times and he almost died and Vesna just nursed him back, you know, from the brink of death. And they had to send their children um, to live with their grandparents, Igor and Adriana, while um, Vesna was nursing Seo back to health. To be honest, Seo was, he was like family to me, um, like a mentor, um, like a father, um, someone who not only was a, a coach, but also on a more personal level, um, you know, was there for us um, and shared some great experiences with all of us on the team um, and for me in general. Um, so I, I don't think I could have asked for a better coach um, or just a better person in general to be around and to spend so much time with. Um, so yeah, I loved Seo and um, it was just a great time playing with him. I'm pretty sure it was the Chicago Tribune player profile and they gave me the opportunity to talk about a role model or someone that's influenced me in my life and you know the first person that's name even closely popped up. It was his name by far. It was Seo. Um, who knows? I mean, without Seo, you don't know anything. Who knows if I would even be playing soccer if it weren't for him. I could have been with a different sport, but, you know, he just inspired such a love of the game for me. And it was just, I had to at least mention him just because, you know, it was the only logical answer for me when I was thinking about who a role model would be in my case. So it was great to be able to talk a little bit about what he did for me, especially on such a scale like that. Uh, if you translated it to English, mind, mind, heart, and confidence through teamwork. So it's basically saying that you have to believe in yourself and have the desire to improve yourself. I remember as a kid you know every summer my sister and I would go to visit my mom's parents who lived in Serbia and we lived in Bosnia which at the time was one country of Yugoslavia so imagine um, we live in Chicago and my grandmother lives in Green Bay you know and um, every summer you go to visit your grandma in Green Bay and then one summer you go to visit grandma and uh, a war breaks out, which you don't really understand, but you're just kind of told um, your parents can't come over. But you're like, it's four hours by car. How can they not come over? I mean, I could drive four hours by car in a day just running around to pick up equipment or player passes or, or whatnot. So it's depending on what part of the world you're from and what experiences you've had in life allows you to um, comprehend, I guess, the, the level of all of that. First time I met him in my town. I was 16 years old and I play outside with kids. He coming with a red car, Volkswagen. And I say, oh my God, this guy will be mine. And after three years, he come again. And that's time we start like 
date and have fun. We enjoy again, like family, have freedom, have everything, great life. And 1992 war coming, everything changed. My friend take us on the international troops and explain my kids in Serbia. We are in Croatia. We're going to pick up kids and going out. I don't know where we're going. Just I wish after two years see my children. Uh, I don't really know how it came about to him coaching, but at the time we lived in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and uh, a friend of his was a professional soccer player in the U.S. for uh, the professional indoor league, goalkeeper, and he had started a youth club in uh, Hershey, where Hershey candy bars come from. And, you know, one thing led to another, and it was kind of cool. It was a, a Serbian guy, a Croatian guy, and a Bosnian guy coaching American kids right after the war in the Balkans. So people were all over, you know, like now would be on Huffington Post and all these other things, which it's interesting, it's neat. Um, he, started, he started there. There was one point where he was working three jobs. He would uh, be a, a maintenance guy at a Toyota dealership during the day. And then in the middle of the day, he would coach. And then at night, he'd deliver pizzas like three or four days a week. So yeah, you know, there's times where I sit back and I'll, I'll say to myself, um, someone will say, hey, you're working too hard, or I feel lazy. And then I think of him working um, three jobs. And I'm sure there's millions of people like that, not just across the world, but you know, in the United States. Um, I know with Seo, um, he kind of made the club to be one big family. Um, and after he passed, I know Eeyore definitely tried to keep that there. Um, and I, from what I've seen, because I, I ref games frequently for Mirage, so um, the guys I see, there's, it's still a big family there. Um, all the kids, they're all just a really close group, um, and they all just love each other, um, which is something that's really different from other, other clubs. So I, I love how Eeyore is keeping that uh, part of Mirage, which I think is probably the core of the, the whole club. Um, and Igor is definitely um, a lot more fun-loving, and he loves to mess around with the kids um, and play games, which Seo did, but Seo had um, you know more like teaching aspects of it as well. Um, but I think Igor is taking the club into a good direction, um, and he's definitely uh, helping you know young kids to really learn to love the game. He had a lot of, I mean, as I said uh, at one point, he was sort of a genius when it came uh, to all things soccer. I like the way he, uh, I like what he brought to the game in terms of positioning. He was really a master at that. I mean, the way he, t I mean, he told kids where they needed to be. Uh, and I think um, he uh, astonished many of them because he would constantly direct them like on a set play, like a corner kick or a free kick. He could tell a single kid out of 11, uh, you have to be right at this spot. The ball will come to you, right? <laughs> and soon enough, the ball will come, you know, will come, go right to that spot. And the kids often didn't understand, why, why, why do you want me to go forward? Why, don't you want, why do you want me to go backwards? Right? Because Seo knew how all these plays developed. I mean, he had, this, had seen it a thousand times. I mean, his experience was just incredibly vast, and he was incredibly smart about it, right? So at any given point, he could tell what all possible combinations were going to be. Now his son Igor owns the club, runs it, and I help him with tryouts, summer camps. I used to line judge for them then, but um, I really do help him out in the summer with a lot of the camps, coaching kids, working with them, helping them organize. So my dad passed away on April 22nd, 2012, and then there are still a whole month of May, June, tournaments, everything else left. And I kind of, I came to a crossroad in my life that day of um, what do I really want to do? Like a working in office type of job isn't, for me, I'm just, it's not, my personality doesn't, 
click for it. Um, and I asked myself, I'm like, okay, I'm going to, what would he have wanted? He would have wanted me to finish up the season. Get it, just get it done and show that you can just get in there and do the hard, it, it will be hard work, but do it. And I went from, you know, coaching one team or helping out twice a week, covering a game, you know, always doing all the administrative computer stuff as much as I could just for that, you know, English second language disconnection to basically coaching Monday through Friday and then five teams of games Saturday and Sunday for months straight. There's no shallow end of the pool. It's just like, all right, Igor, here you go. Deep end of the pool, swim. I'm like, all right. I'd say one of them is more of like a low-key memory. Um, sometimes Seo and I would go out to Hackney's to have a meal and eat and, you know, just kind of talk and reminisce when um, even after, especially after I stopped playing for Mirage because our age group dissipated. But yeah, so we were at, we were just at Hackney's and although it's not just like anything crazy happened, it was just me and him sitting down um, at a table sharing some onion rings and a burger and just him talking about, you know, high school soccer, asking how I'm doing and then giving all, giving me all his, you know, different stories of of his life and everything that, you know, all of his experiences that he thought could pertain to to me. So while I was more of low key, I, it's definitely something that I always think about when I think of Seo. It's just one of those, you know, dinners at Hackney's where we were just sitting together. Um, I think the biggest impact he had on me was just to make the game of soccer fun. Because every time we went to practice, um, he'd have some new game for us. Practices weren't just ball drills and shooting and passing. It was, it was always a game with him. And that's kind of what really made soccer fun for me and made me want to play the sport for a longer time. Um, and then even outside of soccer too, I remember right before he passed away, um, I was struggling with my grades in middle school. And it was kind of funny because he came and sat down with me at practice and talked with me and my mom and said, um, if you're not getting grades, then we're not going to let you. Uh, we're not going to let you play because it's better and more important to get good grades than to play soccer. And that's a life lesson he taught me. Um, and he even said he would help me with homework at practices if I wanted to bring my homework um, and come to practice with my homework. He'd help me out the best he could. Um, and then it was just kind of unfortunate because right after we had that talk, a few weeks later, he passed away. One word. Probably gonna have to say that he was genius. One of my favorite moments was when we were sitting around one evening and he was talking about fishing, which was one of his, you know, enduring passions. Um, and he asked me, do you know why I'm good at fishing? And of course it's like, I don't know. <laughs> so, you know, he would have this little pause and he would say, because I know how fish think. <laughs> That's how I always remember Seo, <laughs> as a man who knows how fish think. <laughs>